Welcome to the 10 Minute Car Sales Talk Podcast, where it's all about life in the car business. Telling you like it is, here's the man with the plan, Terry Cameron. Welcome back to another episode of the 10 Minute Car Sales Talk Podcast. This is another episode of the Buzzer Beater Friday. I believe it's Buzzer Beater number 26 or 27. Before we get started, I want to ask you guys again to hop over to Apple iTunes or whatever platform you listen to and please give me a rating and write a review. I promise I do read them and your feedback is appreciated. This week we're going to talk about that customer that we're off by about $35, $40 on payment. We just can't close them on that difference. About a week and a half ago, we had a customer that we drew, we got out of the service department and we got him to sit down and go over numbers because we we kind of baited the hook with getting them a newer vehicle and keeping the payments the same. Their car was a 2016, and we're trying to move them to a brand new 2019. And they still had a balance on their car. However, they were not upside down. Believe it or not, they were not buried. They actually had a little bit of equity. We went through the entire process, and I have to admit the salesperson did a great job with them. However, we could not get to the payment they wanted to be or they wanted to be at. We were about $35 higher than they wanted to be. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot. We should be able to close them on $35, but what we really did is we bumped them $40 already. So it would have been a total of $75 bump and that was a little bit tougher. So I went out to talk to the customer and found out that we did meet them in the service department, asked them what they had done in the service, and they just mentioned that they had a transmission service. Well, a little light bulb went off in my head, and I asked him what else they've uh, done to their car recently. Well, they've got new tires, he said. Uh, they had a brake job, and of course, their normal maintenance, you know, oil and filter changes. We totaled that up for the past year, and it came out just over $1,100 that he spent in maintenance on this vehicle, not including the oil and filter changes over the past year. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but that's almost $100 a month if you if you broke it down per month. So what we talked about, you're not going to have these uh, maintenance problems and issues here in in the future. Your car is going to have a 100% bumper to bumper warranty. And if we take your number of about $1,100 over the year, we're going to save you about 55, 60 bucks on your payment. You're paying this number right now, plus the $90 that you're paying each month in maintenance. We're just asking to pay an additional $35. And when I put the pencil to the paper and made it make sense for the customer, he signed off on it. 45 minutes later, he was busting bugs. Now, to be able to to use this close, the maintenance close, you have to make sure that you ask the questions. A salesperson should ask this right up front while they're report building and doing their investigating about about their, their the vehicle that they may want to be trading in. Find out what kind of maintenance they've done to it. Find out everything they can about that car and why they might even consider trading it. We need to know these things, so when it is time to close them, we've got more bullets in our gun. Practice this. Find out the maintenance issues they've had, find out how much they spent over the past year, and try the maintenance close. Grab another salesperson and practice this. Role play it and practice drill rehearse. So remember, the sky's the limit. I'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to this week's podcast. Please rate it on iTunes and visit the 10minutesalestalk.com website to send an email. We appreciate your valuable feedback and don't forget to share the show with a friend.